So, so if you ever wanted to perform like a forensic analysis of your Android device for uh, like Pegasus malware infection on uh, GitHub, the Amnesty International has uh, like released a project called MBT project. So MBT is like mobile verification toolkit. It's like it's a simply automatic like automated process for uh, gathering forensic information on your device whether it's an android or uh, ios device so if you are doing this for ios you have to perform like uh, you need to have homebrew to install these packages like you need to install python 3 and libusb then you clone the github repo and you install it so on linux how you do it is like on specific to watch linux i will show you how to so if you want to perform installation of mvt and check for your android device like run checks on your android device you can do like sudo pacman then you install like android tools followed by libusb then you install python Then Python dash pip. So if you do that, it's going to like install all these files. So these are like the required files for you to check your Android device. Then you can install them. So I'm not going to reinstall them again. Then you can install using pip and you can install mbt so if you do that it's going to download and install mbt for you for me it's already installed then the way you run this is you can open up your uh, like favorite uh, file manager so i have created this directory in my home directory called test so this is going to be the path for like where i'm going to gather all the apks so we are going to navigate to local dot local slash bin so if we do an ls we can see like mvt is available over there so if you are doing this check on ios you have to follow the documentation in the mvt project website so you can see this one will give you the documentation so if you are performing this on an android you do like dot slash mvt android and you have to specify like you can specify like download dash apks and you can specify the output path for me it's like home and after that the directory which i have created called test and i can perform like all checks so before doing that you need to have your phone with adb enabled android debug bridge uh, android debug bridge i'm sorry and usb debugging and you have to connect your device so if you don't see those options just go to about phone tap on your build number a couple of times so it will ask you for your phone password then it will give you like developer mode if you go to developer mode you can enable usb debugging over there from the like you just enable that then connect your phone in file transfer mode like usually when you connect your device it will be in charging mode so you can slide your notification panel and change it to like file transfer then in your device for me sometimes it's like a little bit finicky so what i do is like adb start server adb space start server then before i run this tool i kill the adb like adb so I run this so without that I'm getting like a whole lot of errors I don't know what happened but so that's how you do that then in order for you to scan your system like device you can do dot slash mbt android and download apks like it, this one gives you like uh, two checks you can check for your like apks or you can check for your like sms backup so 
this is going to be like apk check so dot slash mvt android download dash apk dash dash output and you specify like instead of this you specify your path where you want to store your apks and you can specify dash dash all checks or you can specify like uh, just virus total or uh, there is one more thing i forgot the name actually so there are like two online scanning engines which you can use so if you do this and if you hit enter it's going to grab everything from your phone maybe it'll ask you permission to connect from adb in your device so you have to click accept so this is going to pull everything from your device all the apks from your device and it's going to perform an online scan using virus total so i'm using like an old lenovo k5 plus which was lying around over here so if you do this you are going to get a result somewhat like this so this is going to be like a package name the path where the file is saved and you can see the number of detections over here so we'll run through and it will take some time for the whole status is finished so you can see all these things accordingly so that's that i hope this one was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day